Well, as promised, we've got uh, Tim Baker back with us. Uh, hot foot from his surgery, might come to that a bit later on, um, but buses to one side and everything like that. Uh, I want to talk about meat plants. Mm -hmm. This is your thing. Often referred to as a poison chalice, as jobs go. You, but I, you, you always give me the impression you've quite liked the whole thing, uh, taking this on board. It, it has been a pretty tricky, rough ride, hasn't it? It, it, it has, Paul, yes. And, and you're right. I mean, I completely embraced the opportunity to uh, to get involved in the meat plant. And, and the reason for that, right from the start, was when I was campaigning in, in, in Aaron Michael back in 2016, I could see fundamentally the uh, poor state of Manx agriculture. And in order to fix that, you had to fix the meat plant. And um, it had been clearly something that was very, very troubled for a long period of time. A lot of question marks about its, about its future. And um, when we sat down with, uh, individually with the Chief Minister after we were, we were all elected, he said, what do you want to do? And I said, I'd like to go into DEFRA and sort out the meat plant. You and actually put your head up, hand up for that one? I did, yeah, because I, th I felt that it, the, the business background that I had would, would, would complement it. It obviously fitted with my constituency, which obviously is a big rural mm -hmm. constituency. And I could just see that it, was, it, it had uh, all, gone, all gone wrong. And I thought, it has to be capable of fixing. Well, I mean, just the overview from what the public see and heard, obviously, the, from the farmers, mm -hmm. the, the, the sort of craziness that there's better prices across, shipping all these animals overseas rather than being put through a local thing with less air mi or, or road miles, whatever uh -huh. you want to call it. Have you resolved that issue, for instance? So the first, we, we took over, uh, this is the new, the, the new structure of Alma Meats, uh, commenced 29th of March last year, so we're almost exactly a, a, a year in. And there were three very, very uh, critical building blocks to, 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 to uh, stabilise the, the business. And the first of those was getting the pricing back to the farmer um, appropriate and in line with, with uh, the UK pricing. So if, if you talk to farmers, you'll, you'll hear them use the words equivalency. And um, that was the objective, to, to, to make it attractive for them to supply the, uh, to supply the meat plant. The pricing under the previous um, management structure had, uh, had, had been driven down and uh, it had created incentives for farmers who uh, you know, needed to make the right decisions for their businesses, um, whereby they were getting a lot more money for shipping live than they were for putting mm -hmm. them through the plant. And you have to sort of break that downward spiral. So we put in uh, the right pricing and uh, we, we, we've got that. That's driven off a UK base price. Um, and we've honoured that for, for the whole of 12 months, which, which we said we would do. And that, that's really important that we can attract the, the animals through, 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 through the plant. Um, Does that mean high prices in the shops because you're paying more now than you were paying? We, 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 are, we are paying more and that's, uh, that's given us more supply. Um, obviously, we, we're, we're in very much a, a, a market situation where we've got to compete. So to some extent, the margins of, of Alamon meats are, are, are reduced as, uh, as, a, as a result of that. Um, I don't think it does mean that uh, it's, it's necessarily high prices out to the, uh, mm. to the consumer. But you get a um, big subvention, don't you, still from the government to cover all this? Is, is we, we, do, we do get a sizable subvention, yes. And um, one, of the, one of the tasks that I've got is to manage that subvention down over, o over time. But of course, it's a direct injection back into the Manx economy, is that, is that subvention, because we're spending that money mm -hmm. by uh, purchasing animals from, from, from local farmers. What's the breakdown between all the meat that goes through there? How much stays here? How much goes away? What, what that sort of thing? Uh, currently, um, all, all the pork stays on the island. Um, roughly three quarters of the lamb goes across to the UK and the beef is a bit more 50-50 to be honest. But, but you still uh, can't get into Tesco? We've not so far managed to get into Tesco, no, there's a lot. How frustrating it, must that be? I mean, this is a massive outlet in the Isle of Man who doesn't sell, or appear, I don't know if they sell anything, but they don't appear to have much of any Manx meat. You can ask me that one. Uh, they, they, don't tr they don't trade with Alamon meats. They don't actually, so there's not, nothing not, there. not, not currently. I mean, they, they support other, some of the local producers, yes, but not, yes, but but not Alamon meats. And there's, there's, there's some unfortunate history there with, between Alamon meats and, um, uh, and Tesco going back a, a number of years, which has, has, has uh, effectively soured the, the, the relationship. But we're working really hard to, to, to bring that back. And Do I'm, you think I'm, it will happen? Yes. Absolutely. In the near future? Yes. I'd be very disappointed if we don't get back into, into Tesco's this year. Because everyone knows, I mean, let's face it, they do ask for a lot, don't they? These big companies demand such different sort of levels of, of things. I, mean, I know, I think the milk people have always told me that they, they have had the same problem, but they're in there, aren't they? Yeah, it, they, absolutely. Is that the problem where the problem lies, or is it, you said it was more of a clash, was it personalities? No, no, no. It was, I mean, I don't really want to go too far back no. in the past because I wasn't, I wasn't there. You know, we're talking five, six, seven years ago, whatever. Um, where, where the issues have, have arisen, but certainly reputationally, um, 
the Isle of Man meat plant wasn't viewed highly by, by, by Tesco's. And uh, we're working really hard to engage with them. It's anybody who's engaged with, with, with major retailers knows it's, it's it is quite a long and drawn out process to, to, to get back in, but we're confident we're going to do that. They're going to say jump, you're going to say hell high, then. Ab you have to ab ab hit absolutely. their targets on cleanliness or whatever the processing is. Yeah, I mean, quite rightly so. They're very protective of their own brand, yeah. um, but also their reputation. Um, they, th th These big retailers are very cognizant of corporate social responsibility and having a link back into the communities where they're making their money. So, you know, I think. That, that there is certainly from the local store management a desire to, uh, to, to, to buy Manx. Do you think uh, it's a bit disappointing that people don't have that much, I was going to say bother, but you know, lots of people go to that, that particular outlet, don't they? And they, they just buy stuff. No one's probably going, oh, I must buy Manx. I think, is that I, 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 th I think people perhaps don't always uh, get the connection between how they spend the money and the consequences that they, that they see. You know, whether it's buying uh, cheap, cheap textiles that are made in a in a sweatshop in Bangladesh or somewhere, mm -hmm. um, or whether it's uh, buying cheap processed meat that's perhaps come from um, various parts of Europe, they don't understand that actually the, the consequences of that uh, that expenditure yeah. is is. Uh, you is have had campaigns, haven't you, to, to buy Manx meat? I mean, and, and other supermarkets obviously clearly do do that, I, so they I, follow that. Absolutely, and, we, and you know we've we've had some real success in building relationships with other retailers and distributors on yep. the island and butchers over the last 12 months and you know, I'm really encouraged by, by, by that um, and, and you know we've recently seen some quite big promotional activity going on on the island with, 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 with Manx Lamb. So, right. so m fences are being mended there. Yep. Um, the big news I think it, today we we're re-announcing is you, you've come up with a partnership with, a, with the UK company that's now going to do a lot of work for you, is that right? Ab ab absolutely yes, one of the um, uh, key Objectives when we uh, moved to this structure of uh, running the meat the meat plant with with its independent commercial board was that uh, we recognised we needed to find a different way of reaching into the UK market, and the term strategic partner was uh, was was coined. And what that really meant was find somebody that uh, can open up routes to market into the into the UK. You tried this before, though, haven't you? Um, so I can only speak for the last for the last twelve months since since the new board came in, and and we had some real. Uh, recovery, stabilisation and recovery work to do to, to get the business back onto uh, the right footing. So we talked about the pricing, mm -hmm. uh, introduction of marketing, which, which you've mentioned, and also recruiting a high quality management team to, to run day to day. And we've been successful in all those things. Um, so the strategic partner, is, this is very much a new relationship for us. And it's a company called Northgate Foods, who are uh, uh, based in Suffolk, um, in, in East Anglia. Did they tender for it, or did you just hand it over to them? Or we've been working really hard over the last uh, last number of months to, to to find the right strategic partner for us, and a lot of conversations. Um, in fact, some some of the conversations were even before the uh, the new board was it was it was in place. Um, so and what's going to happen then? So they're they're effectively going to take um, our product to market in the UK. We're Manx. Badged, or would it just be yeah, beef? Yeah. Period. No, 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 or no, no, pork no, or whatever. no, no. They they see they see value in in in, in the things that an, an Isle of Man branding oh, brings. Okay. So um, the low the low food miles, the high quality animal husbandry, the uh, low disease prevalence that we mm -hmm. we take for granted on the Isle of Man. Um, the, these are all things that are real real positives, and um, they can um, working with us. Can, can unlock some of the value in that. And this is just starting then, so w w what yeah. expectations have you got? I mean, how much will they be able to ship <laughs> well, and, and get rid of in well, that sense? The, the, they are going to be our sales um, agency into, in, into the UK. So um, they then go out and find uh, the, the sort of Tesco, the Marxie or the co-ops or whatever, those sort of things. They do the business with them, well, do they? Well, they already have relationships with, yeah. with all the key players in, 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 in the UK. and. Uh, I mean, I signed the uh, did, did the formal signing of the agreement last last Sunday at IFE at, at Excel in London, which was a big international food and drink exhibition, and uh, we had an Alaban stand there, which which Defa had, um, had had initiated, and a number of local producers there, and there was a huge amount of interest. We had Alaban meats personnel staff in the stand for for the whole four days of the of the show. A huge number of leads, lots of people interested in in the provenance that you know we can literally take. Uh, the the whole journey from from, from farm to fork um, and and you know we know 
which which field in many sure. in, in many uh, cases the animals have actually come from. And the cow's called Daisy. You're going to tell me next one. Well, yeah, I'm trying to avoid names, yeah, but yeah. Uh, um, but that provenance and and that integrity around the food chain is is really important and valuable. It sounds great, but is, is is there subvention money going into this? I mean, are they getting it discounted? Is a is a way no, you no, have no, to no, entice no, them to this, take the, this the, off? There's, there's no there's no new money going into this now. They they see value in in uh, the commercial opportunity for. For, for representing uh, Alaman Meats, we've 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 come up with a commercial arrangement between Alaman Meats and, and and Northgate Foods, which incentivises them based based on the results they generate in terms of uh, the volume that they sell for us and and, and the prices. And the farmers will still get the right prices, will they? Absolutely, yes. The, in fact, this is great news for farmers because uh, one of the challenges that we've had is is, is being able to uh, take more volume and. We've got capacity in the plant to, to process more animals, but we've got to be able to sell it. And to sell it, you've got to have people on the ground in the UK, um, you've got to have relationships with the key customers, and you've got to be able to uh, to really sell the, okay. s sell the brand. So really hot off the, the news, is, this is news, but I mean, when will things start to happen? When will people notice well, all what's going on? We've, we, as I say, we, yeah. we, we already uh, had Northgate Foods um, People at the IFE exhibition yeah. with us last with us last week. They are now uh, with with pretty much immediate effect. They are um, in, in 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 operation and clearly, you know, they they, they get paid by results. So they they're going to want to actually start to start bringing some results and um, very very confident about it. And, and this time next year, then when we talk about it next or whatever, you know, where do you expect us to be shipping? Two thirds or half of all the me food made here, or what? Well, I, I I think we will see a significant uplift in in in, in volume of uh, of uh, meat that Alman Meats is built is, is able to sell into the UK. But mo most importantly, it's about who you're selling it to and what and what what value you're getting back. So we've been very much on the back foot in terms of selling into the UK um, over the last twelve months and and probably probably before that um, and and. Uh, there's been no recognition of the of, of the brand Isle of Man Meats, um, and it's been very much a question of converting the the, the stock into back into cash. Um, yeah. well, whereas now we're getting on the front foot. I think that this will open some really exciting opportunities in 12 months' time. I'm hopeful that the tone around the around the farming community will be. Uh, very, very positive. Sounds so positive, and we'll do our next interview in the car park at Tart. No, we'll do it inside Tesco, won't we? Actually, there on the things. Well, what do you think? I would hope that we would be, by that stage, we would be in Tesco as well, Paul, yeah. <laughs>